Hi there, Hot Pink Scooter Girl here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to crop pictures using two different programs. The first is Paint. It comes standard on most laptops and desktop computers and it's a very simple program. It lets you do some basic editing for photos. Um, I like it because once you save it in, in Paint, it compresses the file, which makes it easier to download um, and upload on two blogs. So um, that's nice for that. So the other program is GIMP. It's a free open source Photoshop-like program. Um, this is good for the heavier kind of photo editing that you might want to do. Um, if you watch my programs I can't live without, I go into detail on how to download this. So just go watch that. All right, so find a picture you like. I like baby owls, yay. Okay, right click, open with paint. So cute. Okay, I can't see the entire photo because it's kind of large. So I'm gonna click view, zoom out, back to home, and get this select tool right here. So you are gonna left click wherever you want to start the cropping, you're going to hold that button down on the mouse. Drag it to point two and let it go. So this little box right here will be what your photo looks like once you actually hit the crop button, which we'll do right now. And the crop button is right here. All right, so that's how you crop pictures. So you're just going to go ahead and save that and um, like I said, it compresses the file, which is nice, um, and let's go to GIMP. So, right click, open with, GIMP, let's wait for this to load, <laughs> alright, so, it's already in there, everything's great, I'm gonna go to this little button right here. It's a select tool and it's in the shape of a rectangle select. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna point one, click, drag to point two, let go. And this little box right here is what your picture will look like once you've actually cropped it. So then you're gonna go to image right here crop to selection. So what we did right there was we did a rectangular select for that portion of the picture that we want to keep. And once you hit crop selection, it deletes everything outside of that. So let's just click that. And your picture shrunk down. So you just, you know, file. Um, I'm running a new version of GIMP, which when you save it, it saves it as an XCF file. Um, I like saving them as pings or JPEGs just because they're easier to download um, and upload onto blogs. But, you know, for this example, you just hit export and you export it as a JPEG. You click export and I already have it saved, but I'll just click replace to show you. So you need to drag this up to 100 and show preview in image window. Export. That makes it easier to preview um, when you're going through files in your file folders. So that's it for cropping pictures using Paint and GIMP. I hope this has been helpful. Like it if it is. Comment if it isn't. Um, let me know what I can improve on. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.